uh, this is from the Curiosity Rover, and this is Sol 3112, okay? 3112. And I've got the raw version here. Now, this is not a colour image, obviously. This is black and white, and most of the images we get from the Curiosity Rover are black and white. But basically, we have this mound here. Now, this is called Mont Mercant. I think this mound is artificial, okay? Now, we've got a close-up of some of the details around this mound here, and there's been lots and lots of uh, images taken from on top of this, and from in front of it, and from around the other side. We're at the back of this mound now. Basically, I've got this other colour version of the Gigapan, and you can see some highly complex detail going on here. And I said many months ago, even before we got close to it, that I thought this was artificial. And uh, we've got some highly complex stuff going on in this so-called rock here, which I don't think is rock at all. Um, this is concrete. If you look really carefully, you can see actual parts of the reinforced concrete showing through where the outer layers of the concrete or render have cracked and fallen away, okay? And there's a part of it down here you can see. You can actually see a cross-section in here, right? It's all about the cross-sections. See here? There's a box-like section there and another one here, okay? So this is concrete. And you can actually see parts of the reinforced metal or alloy, whatever it is, in the actual concrete. And what's happened is, is the actual concrete is softer material and has eroded away, revealing the reinforced structure or mesh, for want of a better word, inside it. Okay. So we're looking at this area here, okay, just here and round here, right? That's where all the weird stuff is along here. And you can see all this weird stuff. And I call it stuff because it's not rock. And when you look at it carefully and objectively, it's obvious that this is not rock, okay? Especially this bit here. It's not rock. This is highly complex concrete with what looks like a mesh, like a, a wire mesh going through it that's eroded away, and as I said, the softer concrete material has eroded away, leaving some of the mesh behind. And you can see this grid-like structure to it, okay? Now, I've, I've taken clips of this on the actual Gigapan. You can see these up here, and uh, down here, actually. We've got that section I just showed you here. You can actually see these cross sections and, and framework, metal framework here. And there's bits of metal framework sticking up here, right? Now, if I show you in here, I've got the same image here. And what I'm going to do is flip it to negative, and that should show up even more, right? But first of all, I'll show you in here already, as, as we're here, we've got this framework, right? Mesh. You can see more down here, look. This is mesh. Wire mesh. It's all broken up, a lot of it. You've got this weird thing here with these weird kind of sections to it. And up here, right? It's mesh. Okay? We've got wire mesh going, going right through this stuff. Holding it together. And it's, it's obviously very, very old and eroded away. And what we're seeing is the inside actual reinforced structure showing because it's made of a harder material than the concrete and has survived longer. And obviously the concrete's eroded away, revealing it, okay? Now let me, well, I'll get rid of all that. And what I'm gonna do is flip it to negative for you and some of it may show a bit better. Unfortunately, these images aren't that great. Um, and I'd love to see this up really close. And you can really see this mesh. I mean, look at it. Wire mesh in the rock, or wallaby rock, which is actually concrete, as I've been saying for quite some time now. And I've been going on about concrete on Mars now for quite a number of years. They were an advanced culture, 
and we're using technology to make structures. And there's loads of highly complex stuff going on here. And you can even see it here. Look at this here. You can see the mesh in the actual layers here as it's eroded away and cracked. So this is a, a dead giveaway. And in fact, this is, it totally exposes um, the fact that we're, we're being gaslit by uh, NASA and have been for decades and decades about what's really going on. Now, obviously, they're not allowed to tell us things. They are gagged, and I've been saying this for many years now, that the, the, uh, they are gagged, and they're not allowed to tell us. So they just keep on giving us the images, and then keep their mouths shut, because that's what they're told to do. Okay, They have to give us the images by law, because they're paid for by the American taxpayer, and they are obliged to. But they're not allowed to speak about some of the things in these images. They're maintaining this lie that they're only there to find microbial fossils in some rocks or something or other okay so there was that so check that out you really need to look at this up close there's amazing amazing details in here highly highly complex mesh structure in concrete